They're idiot. We have several of them that seem to hang out here at the Yacht Basin. New at 11, if you're going to steal, you might want to stay away from the Fort Myers police boat. Apparently no one told that to this guy, Daniel Lippincott. He's accused of drunkenly stealing life-saving equipment, including a fire extinguisher, defibrillator, and a flare gun. The police boat was docked at the downtown yacht basin. NBC2's Joseph Ojo shows you why Lippincott made it pretty easy for police to catch him. What started as a medical call yesterday for a drunk man who was bleeding from his knuckle and forearm on the ground turned to a burglary investigation. Another idiot. We have several of them that seem to hang out here at the Yacht Basin. Fort Myers police were docked at the Fort Myers Yacht Basin when Daniel Lippincott, who reeked of alcohol according to police, allegedly walked onto their boat and went on a stealing spree. I think that's awful. I mean, there's no other way to describe it, really. It's just awful. Lippincott is accused of stealing a defibrillator, a flare gun, and a few flares, a fire extinguisher, and a police radio. Okay. Doesn't make sense to me. You know, if there's if you're going to steal something from a boat, w why that? And he didn't just stop at stealing the essential equipment needed for the Marine unit. He's taken from all of our resources. Police say he damaged the $1,600 defibrillator and the $130 flare gun, critical resources meant to save lives. Uh, they're needed for possible victim survival or officer survival. God forbid the boat should ever sink. And I could just imagine what it would be like if they were reaching for something and didn't have it. His bond is set at $25,000, and he's facing charges for burglary, damage to property, and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Whether you take something, uh, whether you're drunk or not, it's bad. Joseph Ojo, NBC2.